Okay, the next type of question we're going to focus on is matching. Okay, so um, match the information about Mrs. Jenkins. So prompts, favorite color, the, uh, let's see, number of cats she owns, what else? Color of her car, and the number of children living at home. So, favorite color, green, number of cats, four, color of car, gray, number of kids living at home, three. Okay, now when I set the correct answer, I am going to just drag and drop the correct answer. Okay, now I like to go up here and just swap these around a little bit, mix them up so uh, that they're not directly in order. Then what I also um, like to do is Click on partial match. Partial match means students will get part credit. Okay. Penalty score means that uh, students would get marked some off for anything they got wrong. I don't usually do it for a matching activity. I just leave it with partial match. And then I'm going to click save. Uh, I do want to show you one quick thing about duplicating responses, okay? Um, and this is for if you have um, multiple answers that would be the same on this side. So if the car, if my car and my favorite color were green, okay, then my answer key would look like this, would have green here, okay, twice, right? So that is what happens when you duplicate responses. Uh, I use this option a lot. And in the directions, I usually tell students some answers will be used more than once. Okay. And then if we preview the question again, it's going to look like this with boxes. And then students are going to drag them into the correct location. I'm going to go back to edit the question. See my right answers. I don't need any responses duplicated. I'm going to uncheck that because I didn't need it. I do want partial match. I'm going to click save. 